M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Thanks to Ron for helping me. So I want to show you this link that I've got from Richard Priest on the UK Scanners Group. Uh, lots of good information here, links, file downloads, all kinds of stuff. If you click Featured on UK Radio Scanners, you'll see that Richard has added, let's scroll down, this link here. It says here, here's an updated version of SDR with the latest plugins shared with the kind permission of Mills Scanners. Okay, and you click this, download the folder, and open up, you know, double click your SDR sharp window that you've got here, and then we've done that, and we've got all these plugins, and I'll show you them now. And I've I've been trying to load plugins using the, the traditional system, which is, I will show you. So you go to a place like on the left here, which is a link where there's lots of plugins. You click download and you get a plugin. And at the end of the plugin, it says it's called it says DLL. See all these plugins here? Now this is the actual file from the Facebook group. DLL. So the way you do it is you would download the plugin and just drag the DLL file into this, you know, the file that is holding your complete program when you extracted the file that, that Richard gave us. So let's just do that. You click that, it will go to your download folder. You download it, sorry about the advert. Double click and just run the zip and you'll end up, you plug in your dongle and away you go. Okay, everything's working now. I'll show you my one, Let's move this out of the way. The other thing you can do is if we look here at the, the plugins folder, so they have plugins, right click then go to let's find it edit notepad and you'll see all the plugins here so when you download a plugin you get a long string that looks like is one at the very top here add key af dnr and it goes on yeah and there's another plugin every time you see the word add it's a new plugin so it's easy to add a plugin you just above this word here where it says sharp plugins you just click it press enter and you would copy and paste another one underneath yeah, and then you would go file save but we're not going to save it because we've already done it and it's working great so you drag the plugin into the rest of your you know items and you can see them all down here look then I'll show you the text that you get and how you get that text you look here on the left we we'll click one of the downloads we've got it up there at the top double click it and within that folder Let's click one of them. You've got this machine, sorry, magic line text. Double click that. And this is the bit you copy and paste. So you go copy, copy that. And then that's the bit you will paste, you will paste into your plugins folder. So right click, edit, and you'll paste it here. Well, we've already got it, so we don't have to do that. And so this, the, the, the reason it's so good, the file that you get from the scanner group there, is because it's got all the plugins already. So let me show you the plugins. Look on the left here. So to connect your SDR, you, before you press play, drop down, look RTL, SDR, USB. So we've selected that. And we're going to hit play. And it all comes to life. Like so, there are settings you can change, I suppose, for different items you want to listen to. So to see plugins, press the three lines here. And let's find our plugins. We'll scroll down. Oh, there they are on the left there. So let's click one. Frequency scanner. There's one there, and we can choose. Now I've literally not used this yet. I wanted to show you the link because I think it's it. You get a lot without too much hard work some selections there so we click one of these go configure or edit scan range which looks like you can do here these are the few that have been put in already you can delete rows click ok configure lots of settings here What else we got scan and there's your scan 
and the idea is it, it will actually scan and save con depending on what you choose so it's trying to scan now I don't think I've even got an antenna connected at the moment so check it out see what you think and uh, let me know how you get on with it because I uh, look at the bottom here see for the scanning and I put my little mouse there So I need to play around with this. It looks like it will be quite good. Bye for now, 7-3.